In this video, we are going to understand what is Gujarat Maritime Cluster, what are the main objectives as well as benefits of having a maritime cluster. The concept of maritime cluster is new to India. If you look at the words maritime cluster, maritime means something related to sea or waterways and cluster means a grouping of similar things. Now what are those things that could be grouped together which are related to the maritime industry? You must have heard about the shipping industry, right? It's a huge industry. It consists of many firms, institutions and businesses. That means a maritime cluster is an agglomeration of firms, institutions and businesses in the maritime sector or shipping industry that are geographically located close to each other. So a cluster could be both at the national as well as international level. Since all the oceans of the world are connected with each other, so when we talk about a cluster in the maritime sector, we have to take it at a larger scale. Some of the most competitive seaports of the world like Rotterdam, Singapore, Hong Kong, Oslo, Shanghai and London, they have maritime cluster and that is what is driving them successfully. The Gujarat Maritime Board, which comes under the Gujarat government, has been trying to develop such a cluster at Gift City. GIFT stands for Gujarat International Finance Tech City. It is India's first operational smart city and international financial services center. You can think of this place as a business hub. This city is located on the banks of Sabarmati River in Gandhinagar, capital of Gujarat. Anyhow, the Gujarat Maritime Board wants to develop a maritime cluster in this business hub so that it can group all different departments of the Gujarat shipping industry into one cluster. Now these departments include Gujarat based shipping lines, freight forwarders, shipping agents, bunker suppliers, stevedores, ship brokers with chartering requirements, banks, insurance and financial institutions, trade unions and associations and many other support services. Once this idea is successful in Gujarat, in the second stage the cluster would attempt to bring Indian ship owners, ship operators, Indian charterers and technical consultants scattered in cities like Mumbai, Chennai and Delhi to Gujarat. Thereafter it will target to attract global players in the maritime sphere. When you look at all these different components of the shipping industry, these different components are very important for the development of the shipping ecosystem. Now suppose you have a shipping business. Some of these components are not available at your port. So what do you do? You will have to depend on companies that are located in foreign locations who will provide you with these services. I was looking for an example and I found that Adani Group has the biggest port in Gujarat. But for their chartering needs, they are based out of Dubai. Similarly, JM Bakshi have their port facilities in Gujarat, but they operate out of Mumbai for their chartering needs. Large corporates like Aditya Billa Group and Tata Group, they avail services from clusters in Dubai and Singapore for their maritime needs. So I hope you understood why it is important to have a maritime cluster in India. And it is the Gujarat government who came up with this idea first in 2007. And later the state government went ahead and approved the idea in 2015. So what are the benefits of having a maritime cluster? First, it will try to bring the necessary shipping businesses that have migrated over the years to foreign locations due to the absence of the right ecosystem in the country. And two, since Gujarat has a lot of ports and it handles 40% of the country's cargo, with the absence of such an ecosystem, the state government can target the entire value chain. As a result, many foreign shipping companies can look forward to avail the services from an Indian maritime cluster. Apart from attracting maritime businesses, what else will the maritime cluster do? First, the central government will set up a Gujarat Maritime University, through which a body called Alternate Dispute Resolution will be created. It will help to resolve cases related to bunker disputes, ship sales, shipbuilding, repairs and commodities. Now these kind of legal problems are very common in the shipping industry. And the second point is, the cluster will also have the office of the Director General of Shipping. Currently the office of the DG Shipping is in Kandla. And the third point is, the maritime cluster will be set up in the gift city by the end of December 2020. The office will be set up in the SEZ area, where charterers, ship brokers and maritime lawyers dealing in foreign currency will be based. As you know, a special economic zone is an area in which the business and trade laws are different from the rest of the country. So I hope you understood the importance of maritime cluster and what the Gujarat maritime cluster is aimed at. 
I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching it.